Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, let me tell you a story about how life got turned upside down. This is an epic story of redemption in 2024. See, when I first got into FPV way back 10 years ago, we had poor, appalling quality VTXs that probably flew us about 10 foot before we lost a signal. And it was, it was rubbish and I struggled with it mentally and enjoyably and I got out of it. And I came back in, in December 2020 when DJI just released their V1 goggles. And ever since then, I have flown 99% exclusively digital. I did have an analog quad up to last year and I actually converted that last analog quad in January last year to walk snails. So I had no analog quads. And a few months ago, AKK reached out to me and said, would you like to test our new small form factor five watt VTX? And I said, yeah, okay. For, um, yeah, yeah, go on then. And they sent it to me and I did a little bit of B-roll. I did a, a first impressions and I sort of held off putting it in a quad initially because I'm a digital guy. I've been a digital guy from day one. But recently we've been having problems, haven't we? Now, my videos with regards to the DJI Neo are out there. Everybody knows what my thoughts and th feelings are on the Neo and the situations that we're all having with them. And the, well, not all of us, but a lot of us are having with them at the minute. But that's not the only problem that DJI are currently suffering. See, I've got the Gogos 3 and I fly probably 90%, maybe 80% DJI 03. The other quads that I've got are Walk Snail and I've got one HD0. Although that said, I couldn't actually find the HD0 quad at the weekend. I was trying to find it to do a comparison and I cannot for the life of me find it. So if anybody knows where it is, let me know. It is probably in the middle of a field somewhere, to be fair. So I put this VTX on at the weekend and within legal limits, of course, I flew it at my local flying field and I'm absolutely astounded. The level of static and breakup is lower than I've ever seen before with analog. Now, so that you all know the setup that I'm using, I don't have a pair of dedicated analog goggles. I have a pair of DJI V2, not goggles two, DJI two goggles with an analog adapter and a rapid fire module. That's how I've always flown analog since I got back into it. I did have a pair of Isheen uh, EV100D one th diversities. Um, it was okay. It wasn't anything special to be fair. Um, and then eventually they just stopped working and I contacted Isheen and I never got a reply. So great customer service Isheen, way to go. So I've got the adapter for the DJIs and that's how I've flown analog. So. The test comparisons to the stuff I used to fly is a controlled comparison because it's the same stuff that I flew before. And I'm absolutely astounded. Now, I'm gonna sync up a flight now, and this flight will be me flying around the edge of my flying field. There was a spotter at the end of the hedge, for anybody that's querying. Uh, we was in verbal contact. We could speak to each other very easily from the distances that we was flying and spotting from. And I flew around the very edge of the field, about two foot above the ground. And I did it slowly, in case anybody appeared in the spot I needed to tell me. But also I did it sort of back behind the hedges and behind the fence row to see how well this signal would actually penetrate A, the hedges and, and the fence rows, and B, from such a low position. And as I'm sure you can probably see on screen, it performs absolutely wonderfully it's more than flyable the biggest complaint i've always had with analog is i just didn't find it flyable i didn't find it confidence inspiring for me to push so i was always flying within myself because i was always a bit scared because I didn't really get the confidence in the quads i was able to fly all the way around and then behind a big bank of trees again the angle of the spotter was able to see it but i was behind the hedges to try and block the signal as much as possible. The only time where the signal 
does have a bit of an issue and rapid fire beeps to suggest that it's got an issue is when I'm flying a couple of foot above the ground, sort of facing the tree because it's quite a dip. It, it goes down about six or seven foot. So I'm about six or seven foot higher than the signal. So the signal not only has to penetrate the earth, but it has to send it up and blah, blah, blah. I will get into the uh, nuanced details of the technological ways and things it does, mainly because I don't know. Um, but I'm going to fake it until I make it. So that was that. I'm astounded, blown away by it. To the point, I flew it three more times. So I could have just put that out, made the review and said, look, this, this VTX is brilliant. Just go and buy one. And I thought, nah, let's fly it a few more times. So I flew it again yesterday and I put a DJI action camera on and the idea was to sync it up. And I forgot to press record on the goggles, but I pressed record on the action camera. So I thought, oh, that's a bit of a problem. So I flew it again today voluntarily nobody uh tied me up nobody forced me to fly analog and like i know there is a, still a fairly big analog movement out there there are there are guys that love analog that fly analog that swear by analog but market share wise i think analog is less than about seven or eight percent from the figures i last saw there really isn't a lot yeah there's hipsters and there's people who are cool that still fly analog and that's that's great and you do you i'm more than happy they said that they can't fly with dji because of the latency and there is undoubtedly undoubtedly more latency when you fly digital than when you fly analog but the confidence of being able to actually see is why i love digital so much but to be able to see and have no latency incredible absolutely incredible and i'm sure as you go through the power bands this thing just gets better and better and better now I'm going to do a test. I haven't done it here because like I said, I couldn't actually find my walks now. Oh, sorry, my HD zero quad, but I am going to do a test of analog versus DJI versus walks now versus HD zero. I'm going to fly them all around the same edge of the field, a couple of feet above the ground and just see which one does best. And we'll try and synchronize all the powers to be all the same. And we'll see just, uh, just how good it is. But ultimately I went back out again today and I flew a freestyle park and I was loving it. I had more battery than I'd have with digital. Um, it felt lighter in the sky. Now I am using a Diatone Roma F5, which I think was a fairly light frame in comparison to some of the modern day ones. But I still had a, a DJI action camera on there as well. It just felt brilliant. It felt well balanced. The battery seemed to last longer, although I've not actually checked the flight time. So I could be talking absolute rubbish. Um, but it was just more nimble and the lack of latency was just just incredible so what akk have done here is really really impressive and that's coming from me who last year said i am done with analog i will never touch analog again so this is an arc of redemption because until my goggles 3 will work with my dji 3 without suddenly randomly blacking out in the middle of a fly that's not safe. I need to look at what else I can fly. So in the meantime, I'm going to be flying more walk snail and I'm going to be flying more analog with this AKK 5 watt VTX at legal powers for the region. Now this is a review, so we always end with the question of should you buy it? And I'm not going to dilly dally. I'm not going to put any bells and whistles on. I'm just going to say, ultimately, if you're looking for a reliable, powerful VTX that's analog in 2024, buy this. I did used to fly TBS Unify, which was regarded and rated as one of the best analog VTXs out there. This absolutely wipes the floor with it. Genuinely does. And it's got a, it's got a fan on it as well, which is brilliant because obviously it's going to kick out a lot of heat if you were to go through those power bands, for example, officer. <clears throat> it's brilliant. It's genuinely, genuinely brilliant. If you're in the market for one, this is the one to buy. I will drop an affiliate link down below. Um, I didn't touch on it at the start. I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to cram it all in at the end. But AKK did send it me for free. They didn't ask me to do a review. They just said, do you want to test it? They've not told me anything to say. And they've not seen this review before it's gone out. And I've not been paid for the review. Whew. 
One last thing, Barry Morgan and Jedi FPV are members. I will give member shout outs in every video that's over seven minutes long. Go join them on the members bench and get a shout out in the next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe for more. I'm done. Peace out. Until next time, much love quads.